Hey kids, Mr. Tom here. Uh, time for our, our second to the last Sunday, Sunday school lesson before Christmas. And uh, I know we've been doing the I Am's of Jesus, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned and, and drawn closer to him. Uh, this time we're going to shift to a little bit of um, a Christmas theme. And um, I, I think it's important that uh, we recognize a, a few things about the birth of Jesus and what a tremendous miracle it was and is, and um, and what it means to you and all. Um, to sum it all up, uh, to to get to the punchline at the very beginning, um, my my theme is um, we are to be like Mary. Um, Mary gave us such a great example, and so when I say Mary, I'm talking about Mary, the 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 mother of Jesus, and. Um, but first of all, uh, let, let's say that uh, we've talked about um, the different I am's in the Gospel of John. We've moved backwards in the uh, Bible to the Gospel of Matthew. And Matthew's Gospel was written with a Jewish writer in mind. And so he's focused on, and he starts with a genealogy, and, and he goes through the list from Abraham uh, through David. And, and this is the lineage, and Jews are very big on lineage. They're very big on on uh, being a, a good scribe and recorders of history. And, uh, and that proved to be just terrific uh, for all of us as we take advantage of that these days. Toward the end of the lineage in uh, Matthew 1, uh, Pastor Jeff read about it this week where uh, it talks about uh, the, the line of uh, David and all going through Joseph. And Joseph, when he was a teenager, I believe, um, he met and betrothed uh, Mary. And Mary was a young girl. She might have been as young as 14 or 15 years old. And uh, she had a very special experience after they were betrothed, after they were promised uh, to, to be married. Um, Mary um, had a visit from an angel. And the angel told her that she would bear a child from the Holy Spirit. And the child would be the Son of God. Now, this is the first time and the last time and the only time this has ever happened in history, but it had to happen. It had to happen this way because of God's plan. And what an absolutely brilliant plan in that God would come to earth as Emmanuel, God with us, and be born. And in order to do that, um, he chose Mary and he chose Mary to carry her, um, to carry him into this world and to care for him. And he also, as Pastor Jeff mentioned very uh, correctly, that Joseph also was, was, was called. And so Joseph and Mary has uh, experienced this, and, and the, the angel visited Joseph as well so that he could uh, understand that this really was of God. Now, the, the thing that, you know, it may have been the first time ever, but it was in the Old Testament that a virgin would conceive. And uh, around the same time, Caesar Augustus, who was in charge of Rome, uh, the Roman Empire, which ruled the world, also decreed that there would be a census and that everyone had to go to their home um, to, um, to register for that. And that brought Joseph and his betrothed wife and their soon-to-be son all the way down to Bethlehem. And, and so these things are head-scratchers, but they really did happen, and God provided such grace for them. And that turned out to be... Uh, uh, much of what they needed. The trip is about um, a nine-day trip, I believe. It's uh, uh, is, is what I read, and um, and it's fraught with danger. Any time you were traveling during those times, it was very dangerous. And so here, Joseph is is traveling with his wife, and there's a cloud of suspicion all around them. Um, uh, and and so it was troubling times for them that they had to endure in order to, uh, to, to get to, to Bethlehem. But God made a way, he found a way, and, and he provided everything they needed in, in, in the, uh, the manger. So when we think about the Christmas story, we realize that um, God had to come in to the world this way because the savior of the world, the Messiah, had to be the son of God. And if it was Joseph, Joseph's seed with Mary, then it would have been just like us, a sinner. And a sinner can't save another sinner. It takes God to save a sinner. And so um, God did it this way. And the beginning and throughout our faith, it is all built on faith. 
And without faith and without believing the unseen, uh, we will not experience salvation. And so I urge you this Christmas to think about this beautiful couple and what they endured. And remember, though, it's not the pain and the suffering that they endured that's the story. It's the miracle that the Savior, the Son of God, came into the world as one of us. And he became one of us so that he could in turn die and with his death bury forever the sins that keep us from heaven. So rejoice uh, as the angels told the shepherds and enjoy this wonderful Christmas, not for the gifts and not for the food and all that, but for the Savior. Have a great Christmas and I'll talk to you soon.